to you, Papa. Can you come close the door, please? All right, thank you. I will see you over at the Boys and Girls Club. But I still talk to my friends every now and then, but I don't hang as much with the people I used to hang with. I want you to record him doing a donut, because that's what we were just doing a second ago. All right, cool. Man, what if my niggas is grounded? Girl ain't letting him go. Now, the boys will consider you being on lockdown if your girl keeps you in the hoes. Like, you saying you ain't lied over. At the beginning, yeah, I was getting clowned. Everybody was like, yo, man, look at you staying in the house. You a host, man. I'm like, nah, it ain't even that, man. It's just that I have respect for my girlfriend and I have the love for my child. I'd rather be in the host than me just going in and drinking and just hanging on. So what you want to know? <laughs> yeah, at the start of business, says when, when the baby first came out, yeah, he was locked down. But you got to expect that, too, you know what I mean? The baby just come out. Of course, she wants him to, you know, do his thing. <laughs> I don't know who's going to see this. See, got to be careful what I'm saying. I don't want to get my man in trouble. <laughs> I used to look after him and Curtis, his older brother, all the time. You know, I know Corey probably since about grade three, so add up to years, whatever. Our family's been through struggles together, you know, going through hard times. We rap together, chill together, cut girls together, cut that right out. Go to the club with them. Go chill with girls with them, drink with them. I got into a fight with him twice. But you know, everything brought us closer together and now we're pretty much like family.